Hey everybody, it's your friend, it's your brother, Elder Ferris Long, and I wanted to take a moment to share something with you. Uh, many of you know that January 1st, my biological sister went home to be with the Lord, and right now as we speak, my only other biological sibling, my brother, is in the hospital. Um, he had a major stroke. Right now he's unresponsive and um, he's actually bleeding on the brain. So the doctors this weekend took him off life support. I rushed down there to be with him, with, uh, him and my nephew and the rest of the family uh, this weekend. But while I was down there, my nephew said to me, he said, um, my dad told me some time ago that whenever his time came to leave this world, he wanted his little brother to preach his funeral. Um, I was shocked. I was honored and I was humbled that my brother thought enough of me that he wanted me to preach his funeral. Well, as I drove home from the hospital, actually to my family's house about an hour away, uh, I began to think and pray and say, God, what in the world would I say at my brother's funeral? Um, and these thoughts just kind of began to run into my mind. And I would hold them until the day of the homegoing celebration. But the Lord put on my heart tonight that there's somebody who needs these words right now. So I'm just going to share them with you. And if you know someone who might need them, click share, share it with them, share it on your Facebook page, what have you. But the thought that came to mind or the title of the message was, what do I do now? Some of you are dealing with situations and you're wondering, God, what do I do? You're looking at impossibilities. You're looking at hardships. Things are feeling a bit overwhelming to you. And you're asking the question, what do I do now? Well, point number one is bow down. In the overwhelming moments of your life, you've got to learn how to bow down because the Lord said to tell you this, bow down before you break down. Bowing down is a position of submission and not submitting to the situation, but it's submitting to God saying, God, I recognize that I can't handle this on my own. Point number two, after you've bowed down, look up. Looking up, there's a scripture that says, I will lift up my eyes unto the hills from which come my help. My help comes from the Lord who made heaven and earth. When we understand that our help comes from God, you look up to get a strategy for the moment that you, when you don't know what to do. What is the strategy? What do I do with this situation? Ask God, Father, show me how to handle my situation. And then the things that I can't handle, help me to trust you enough to leave them to you. And then God give me the wisdom to know the difference between the two. Lastly, well, actually, thirdly, after you've bowed down, after you've looked up, third, stand up. You've got to reposture yourself. Don't stay down in a down place. You've got to begin to stand up and get in the position to move towards the thing that God put in your heart. And lastly, move forward. Bow down, look up, stand up. And then move forward. You can't keep looking back at what was, what used to be, and you can't even live off of the hopes of the past. You've got to look forward in the direction that God is guiding you in and directing you in. I know it seems impossible right now, but you can make it. So this is my encouragement to you. What do I do now? Bow down, look up, stand up, move forward.